Anyway, I'm going to see if we can beat the rain. I've been waiting all day just for a break, but we seem to have got it now. Right, we've got uh, something a little bit different. We've got the V8 uh, 4.2 TDI version of the A8. Uh, she's finished in night blue pearl. Quite a nice specification car. She's registered March 2011. Just had the wheels done. The wheels were diamond cut when they came in, but the wheel company that we use said they couldn't be really cut even though they hadn't been done because of the profile. So we've had them done in mercury silver, which I personally think they'd look better. Uh, brakes were low, so we've taken the opportunity to put some upgraded brakes on. So we've got a set of black diamond uh, drilled and slotted discs with some upgraded pads in them and a new set of boots it's got a new set of Pirellis all round so uh, just get an out profile not quite such a big car <laughs> we'll try the other side um, she's got folding mirrors so I'll try and remember the details as we go around um, it's got a roof sunroof electric tilt and slide camera it's got a forward camera for lane um, lane control and adaptive cruise. We've got LEDs in the front there, daylight running, uh, and it's got front and rear parking. Folding mirrors, so the mirrors um, electrically fold on locking. So just tinted glass. That's quite a long way to get her all in. It looks good in the blue, so I think the wheels in the silver. I was a bit sceptical until I saw them on the car, but now they're on them. I'm happy with them. Um, rear parking, four-wheel drive quattro, electric boot, good size boot you'd expect. Space saver spare. Twin outlets. So let's have a look down the side of the car. No pin dents. So it's got the odd chip, which is inevitable. She's done 72,000 miles. Three owner car. Uh, got soft clothes on it. I'll just show you now because I'm likely to forget before I. So the doors just pull in. Once they make contact, pull in that last bit. Uh, light trim with what I think they describe as walnut uh, burr through. Light trim's not everyone's cup of tea. I think it looks quite nice on the dark metallics, but it depends what you're going to use it for. You've got a roof, got a blind. Uh, they get electric seats with lumbar and see massage on there. Some often that front buttons massage, but I'll have to have a look at the spec. But fully electric seats, heated. You've got some cruise control and paddle shift on the steering wheel the other side there. So both surround, so I guess the Oh, memory seats, there's another another extra. It's got it on both both front seats. Sometimes it just gets it on the driver, but it's got it on both. Decent bit of legroom on these. Speaker system, trim following through. Got isofix position on the front seat, actually. You've got two in the rear and three adult belts. And then the uh, centre armrest will pull down. the air on the roof for the nav and the Bluetooth. Uh, don't need to go in there really. Um, right, we've got memory seats, lock override. That indicator there is for the, uh, to warn you if, if you're straying off lane or if people are coming up on you that that light will actually come on. Um, we've got folding mirrors, four windows, Electric child lock and a boot release underneath there as well. Similar 
controls is the other side. It's got the brushed alley trim going through with the walnut. So that follows all the way around the car through the door cards. Got auto lights on there. Uh, we've got, it's not keyless entry, it's keyless start, so you've just got the button there, so if I just press the button, the ignition comes up, and then you'll start. I'll just turn on for a second. Um, 72,000 miles. On the steering wheel we've got the gear, shift, cruise below, and then we've got... Um, that controls the computer. Looks like it's got voice activation. And these are the other menus on this side. We're on, uh, what have we got there? Got Deb Radio. Let's see what other media. You'll have slots in there for CD and two SD cards. So you can run various media. They can also run your Bluetooth via the phone which I'm sure most of you know if you're familiar with the product. That was the car details, that's the Bluetooth, so you can add your phone in there and then add the lights of Spotify, that type of thing through. Parking override, um, traction control, must have blinds. Oh no, it's the blind for the front. I was thinking it was blinds for the back, I didn't, uh, hadn't spotted, but it isn't. Um, heated seats and dual zone aircon there you can sync it so both sides um, you can put all the setups into your into your um, into the key so the individual uh, you, you set the car to the key so the seat memories um, and the steering wheel what and what have you that's the lucky walnuts um, a couple of cabby holes there looks like it's got the phone in fact it's got the phone and the plug in here, often they put it in the glove box, but it looks like we've got it in here on this one. Um, I'm not going to open the roof because it's now raining, but the controls are here. Um, so the tilt, just to show you, and the blind manually pulls through. Um, what else have we got? Okay, so quick look. Lockbook. Don't very often see the 4.2s, which is really why I bought it. Um, quite a rare animal. Someone's looking for one. Three former keepers. Um, done a spec sheet there. Air suspension, which is pretty much standard. Um, I think there's anything here I haven't covered. Just highlighted. Yeah, eight speed auto. No, I think it's I've probably covered everything. Um, and the service book. I suspect it's probably due a service book. Um, dealer or dealer stamps. No, Norwich done the last one actually fairly recently. At 67, so it's only 5,000 miles since that was done. And Aberdeen, for some reason, other end of the country. So it looks like it's had a while up in Aberdeen, and now in, in Norwich, which is relatively local to us. Anyway, that's it. Nice, nice thing if someone's looking for a, you know, a big body cruiser.